Hi, this is Lee. I love photography. That's probably no surprise to any of you that have seen any of my videos. But something that you don't know is that I love gadgets. I love them. And one of my very favorite gadgets is my iPhone. I take it everywhere I go. I'm always using it. I'm one of those obnoxious people that is just always on their iPhone, just playing around. I read books on it. I, I do everything with it. Oh, and you know, I make phone calls. Um, one of my very favorite things is when I get to combine two of my uh, loves. And when I found an application on my iPhone that would allow me to calculate depth of field, I got super excited. So I want to show you this application. It's called Field Tools. And by inputting a couple of variables, you can figure out what your depth of field will be when you're going to take a picture. So let's take a look at my iPhone and I will show you how to use it. And here's my iPhone. Let's go to the Field Tools application. And it opens up and it's a really simple interface. You have different options at the top. You have hyper, near, far, and near plus far. I only use near plus far, so that's all I'm gonna show you today. You input focal length, aperture, and distance to subject just by using these sliders. And I'm just gonna say that I'm going to be using a 50 millimeter lens and I'm going to be at an aperture of f8. And then I am guessing that I'm about 20 feet away from my subject. And you can see at the top, as I'm using these sliders, these numbers keep adjusting. So what this is telling me at the top is that my depth of field begins 12.6 feet away from me and ends 47.9 feet away from me. So that 35.4 feet in the middle is what will be in focus in my picture. And so I've been using this application for about a week now and I, it's, I found it to be pretty darned accurate. And did I mention that it's free? Because it's totally free <laughs> and that makes it even better. I love this application. It allows me to kind of just mess around um, to see what depth of field I will get with different scenarios. And it also is kind of handy if I want to find a starting point when I am going to be out f photographing. Um, if you have an iPhone and you want to find it, again, it's called Field Tools, and all you have to do is search for it in the App Store. If you have any questions about depth of field or this iPhone app or anything else, please let me know.